Peter, I've had the greatest honor of my life. Watching you grow from this nerdy little boy who'd blow up our toaster every other week. You can't prove that. To the man I see before me now. Each battle, each choice, I was there to help you, to guide you. This calling is beyond me, Peter. I don't know what you're talking about, I swear. Where was I? Oh, yes. Tell us where it is. Seriously, guys, I don't know what you're talking about. It's time for good cop, bad cop. Okay. You sound like you got a hand up your ass. What the f did you just say to me? Ah! To tell you the truth, I held my breath through the whole thing. Really? <laughs> it was over that quick, huh? It was in and out in the blink of an eye. <laughs> <laughs> Are you forgetting something? What? Protection. There's one in the glove compartment. It's beautiful. <laughs> what about your protection? You know me. Old school. Can I help you, son? Is everything all right? Where'd you go? We can't just pretend this didn't happen. We have no other choice. Yes, we do. We can release a statement and saying- And what? Tell the public that the serial killer that held the city hostage for months didn't really die? With all due respect, putting our heads in the sand and pretending that he isn't still alive, it's a stupid mistake. I don't see any other choice here, Jeffrey. It's a lose-lose situation no matter how we look at it. I don't know why you're doing this. But don't expect me to agree with it or follow it. <laughs>